Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft Survival. When we last left off we were able to prepare all the potions and some other items as well in order to achieve the Furious Cocktail Advancement. If you look at uh, this tab over here, have every potion effect applied at the same time is what we need to do. So. Before I do that, I actually want to use this salmon, believe it or not, to do this. You can uh, create a new kitty for me, please. Did you do that or not? Come on. Maybe once more. No? Okay, maybe, maybe I need to first ask you to stand up let's say you two okay <laughs> and now loki and uh, amber gaze can you please pretty please do something dudes you're so annoying go and do babies see that was not so difficult <laughs> okay so that is done I will need to make sure that everybody is sitting. So Loki, you can stay here. Ambergaze can stay there as well. The new kitty, are you sitting already? Yes, you can sit there. And now Bella sits. The unnamed kitty sits and everybody else as well. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, all of them sitting. Perfect. So. Finally, finally, we can go and drink all the potions and everything else. So we have 8 minute potions of swiftness, night vision, leaping, water breathing and resistance. 4 minute slowness, slow falling, invisibility. And we have poison, strength, weakness, golden apple and enchanted golden apple. And actually, I would like to also take one bucket and get some milk because we will need to heal ourselves from the poison okay so take the milk and now i think we have everything that we need so let's start with these eight minute things right here they should last for a long time one two three four five okay not bad then the four minute potions okay number seven invisibility number eight slow falling number nine slowness look at us Okay, and then the last ones are here and also the milk bucket. So number nine is the, well, let's start with the weakness. Bam, then strength, then the poison. And after that, uh, one of the apples, I think just the uh, apple on slot number five should actually be enough shoot in theory so number nine and the enchanted golden apple bam challenge completed a furious cocktail let's uh drink that milk oh it actually removed all the positive effects as well wow Okay, I did not even know that. I thought it was removing only the only the bad effects. Wow. <laughs> okay, well, fine. I didn't want them anyway, right? That bucket, did I have three buckets there? I'm not sure. The glass will have to go somewhere here, I believe, right? Not exactly sure. No, I can't open that chest if you are in there. Hmm. Like for real? 
Yeah, seems like it. Okay, so you're not gonna be able to go there. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm afraid. Uh, let's go and also start preparing some potions. Uh, fire resistance would be nice. And uh, this apple, as I see, is not necessary anymore. All right. And today, after we have done this, yes, we would like to try and enchant our elytra and then go and uh, explore the world. I have spent about two hours of camera or so generating the world in a 4000 by 4000 area. So around the zero zero starting area, basically I generated everything that would fit into these four maps. So we will create the two maps that we are missing and basically use Elytra to fly around, find new biomes, have some fun and so on and so forth. But for that, we will first need to take the Elytra, of course, and put mending on it and also the unbreaking number three. So maybe we can do that first. Something like this. We'll have to fish for unbreaking, of course. Like this, and we have protection. Okay, how about if we do this? Fire protection. Fire protection. Unbreaking free. Okay. <laughs> See, it's uh, sometimes it's easy. Okay, perfect. Now we can take all of this away. All right, and use our anvil on the elytra. I don't know if I should put uh, the mending on it first or the unbreaking. I don't know. Well, let's. Uh, Put unbreaking on it first and then mending like this. And now it's uh, nice and purple as well. You can't put any other enchantments on it other than curses of vanishing and, and the one that forces you to have it on all the time. So this is, uh, this is all we want to do for now. I can put some things back, all right, so let's put this and that back. Now take everything from here, like this, lucky over there, silky over there, good. Uh, how are we doing on time? The sun is going down slowly, okay, so the salmon goes there. And here in the shulker box, I have prepared some nice stuff. And that's uh, something we'll be doing most of this episode, I would say. Now let me just try to sleep. We will try to produce or build a gunpowder farm from creepers. We could do a farm uh, based on... Um, Those old ladies, how are they called? Witches. Uh, we have a witch hut somewhere, somewhere over there. But uh, I would prefer to have this farm nearby. So I guess uh, we just need to find a nice spot and we'll see. Also, as you can see, I have uh, sorted everything that was in the red and uh, blue chest. Uh, shulker box, I mean. I put a lot of ice here and uh, many things like that. I put, uh, I don't know, some nether stuff, especially the wither skeleton skulls and so on over here. I changed uh, the contents of uh, the ender chest completely and I put some stuff in this green chest as well. Uh, I have some extra building blocks and some more stuff that I will need for some other advancements. Some will be for later, some will be relatively soon, but for now I just have them prepared so that uh, I don't lose any of this stuff. And here in the shulker box we have uh, everything that we will need for the farm. Or hopefully everything. If not, then we'll see. Also, 
I have switched completely to a bamboo automated farm and I planted some more bamboo over here because, you know, why not? <laughs> Let's actually go and uh, take some already. Just to figure out how much that approximately is. They should be able to grow like to size, I don't know, 16 or something like that. I think it's quite a lot. Just guessing. About a uh, hundred. Probably. <laughs> okay. There's something in the water as well. It floats or at least it seems to be floating. Alright. Anybody else? Yes, we have a few over here. And that's it. Nope. A few more. Okay, anybody else? How many? Oh, wow, 100, 120. Wow, about 200, just like that. Okay. So this stuff grows very quickly. <laughs> very quickly. What we wanted to do with all of these things, actually, is uh, take uh, some string finally going to be used and uh, do the whatchamacallit, uh, the scaffolding. So now I have about that much, that's okay. And uh, no, half of it here and half of it there. And we have like two, three stacks of scaffolding, okay. I think that will be enough for our needs right now. I can even put it back into this chest because that's where it belongs right now. Okay, and the bamboo. Bamboo can also stay here for the moment like this. Okay. Right, and now we need to find uh, a nice spot, about 16 times 16 for our farm. And this could be a spot, but it's a little bit too uneven. So maybe we can go on the other side where the village is and try there. Yeah, I think we should try to go there. All right, I also need to fish for some more conduits, but that can wait. Uh, not conduits, the seashells or whatever, nautilus shells, I think they are called. And where will I build it? I can probably build it, not here, there I want more village. So I will build it over there, maybe. What do you think? Is that a good idea? We have some space here and that uh, seems like it could work for me, right? Yeah, I think this will work. So let's take some of this uh, stuff out and let's uh, put the shulker box down. Number five, let's say over here. And we'll start building with andesite because... <laughs> because... Um, I have like three stacks of cobble left. That's it. So here maybe already like from there, right? That should be 16 blocks, I think. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's good for now. Um, I found uh, this on the internet, of course, on YouTube. Uh, this is not my invention. I just googled for a nice uh, and simple farm for gunpowder. And uh, the first one I found already looked nice enough. So let's do it uh, from here. One, two, three, four, five. Then one, two, three. Here, two, three. And that is one. Now one more here, 
So that's five and six and then five. One, two, three, four, five. And then again, 13 there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five. From the other side as well. One, two, three, four, five. And here. One, two, three, and one, two, three. It actually works. Okay. Then what you need to do is uh, make it bigger, <laughs> as you do usually, uh, by one more block. So let's quickly do that. I was wondering whether I should speed this up, but. We haven't done any builds lately, so I think uh, just doing it like this will not hurt anybody. And we can uh, enjoy some peaceful time for a change. No more nether in this episode. No more end dimension. Just a simple nice uh, farm to kill creepers. And who, who wouldn't want to kill creepers, right? <laughs> So that's the second level. Then I think you need to put like some more blocks here. I don't know how many exactly until it's like three. Yeah, this is fine. And then we dig a little bit over here. Okay, and we need to put uh, some stuff in there. I will make a small hole here for now. Or maybe I should bring this inside. No. Let's take the carpet as well. Number five. And we'll need to put carpets uh, in here. The carpets are there to prevent uh, spawns of uh, spiders inside the structure. Spiders need three by three um, um, area without slabs and carpets and things like that to spawn. So if we just do it something like this, I believe. Yeah, so that there is only two spots, uh, then, then nobody should spawn. And here we will have a cat. The cat will be sitting here and funneling all the creepers there. Creepers are scared to death uh, when they see cats. <laughs> and this is a, basically a cat powered farm. <laughs> so here, there. Just break it up so that uh, there are no three by three. Yeah, this is this is all. Yeah, there are no three by three spaces here. Okay, so that's fine. You will also need a lot of um, trap doors, uh, but I will take only a few for now uh, because we will need to put the trap doors in here so that uh, the creepers are not afraid to drop down or anything. It will just make it easier for them to drop down here. And then you will need tons and tons to do this. Basically, and wh why, why are we doing this? This is because we will uh, then block it. Uh, on the third level and uh, have a completely dark. Uh, do I not have any beds near me? Oh, that's a mistake. So why we are doing it again, uh, we are putting those uh, trap doors there to decrease the ceiling because skeletons and players and zombies and many other mobs uh, have a size of exactly two blocks. And if you put, uh, but the creepers are smaller. They have like one and a three quarters of a block or something like that. So if we put uh, trap doors everywhere, uh, zombies and skeletons and other mobs will not be able to spawn because they just don't fit inside here. Well, it looks like we, we fit inside somehow anyway. But uh, zombies and skeletons don't. 
and uh, creepers do. Uh, I don't know how exactly this will be done. And uh, this will take some time, I guess. Probably will need to shift it in there. But uh, we can we can do that later. So also, what do we need to do is uh, make that uh, make that ceiling. You can either make the ceiling from full blocks if you want to continue, and maybe even do you know a second floor because this farm can be stacked. You can do this structure basically several times repeatedly and increase your gain or yield or you can just close it off and uh, this will work as well so i will just close it off let me check if shift clicking works yeah shift clicking works okay so uh, what else do we need to do do i just shift click everything until i run out of these things <laughs> I will need to do it eventually, but uh, okay, now I'm out of those things. Then we need to go, I think, one and then two and then three blocks down. Okay. And not sure if I did it correctly here. And we will need to... They will be falling here and then I need to dig down or, or dig in one way or the other. I, I will need to look outside which way I want to go. Mm, okay. This is a little bit annoying. Let's get rid of a few of them here so that I can move myself. That's why you should do this at the end. <laughs> so if I want to move here, that's not such a great idea. Yeah, that's not such a great idea. Let's take this with us and let's, well, let's dig in the other direction, right? So over here and oops there number three and uh, how how did it work again uh, something like that and number three again okay and this needs to be fairly long I wonder where it will go actually. Also, do I need to make it free long? I'm not exactly sure. Don't remember every single detail, but let's make it free long as well. Okay. So here we have how much? We can actually do it like this. Put uh, shelter box down, take those water buckets and uh, huh. not sure, let's have a look. If I put a water bucket here and a water bucket there, yeah, it kind of works like this okay then we can continue digging until the water stops flowing basically that's fine dig some more we'll even get some extra blocks for that isn't that sweet okay and then we need to put here a step so that the water can flow even further how far can it flow pretty far actually okay ok 
Okay, that's fine. Number six, I hope you can see something. If not, uh, then uh, let's do it like this. Yeah, you should be able to see something now. Okay, so this is the end, basically, of uh, our little water, not elevator, but a, a roadway or whatever you want to call it. Number five, there, there, and there maybe. Uh, no, that's that's not what I wanted to do. Let's put it away. Number five there. And I have one stone over here. Bam. Okay. Now here they will drop down some more. So let's go even more down. That's fine. And how much? One... Two, three, like three down, probably. So there will be one more necessary, I believe. Let's go down. We'll uh, move it if if it doesn't work exactly. So on the bottom. Start here. First, we need chests and hoppers and campfire and some glass, I believe. So the chest goes here, and well, that's not exactly how I planned it to be. It should probably be just too wide. Not exactly sure. <laughs> because there should be hoppers going inside the chest, yes. Huh. I don't know. So, as you can see from memory, it's, it's not crazy convenient. But um, if I make a mistake, a big mistake somewhere, I can always correct myself later. So let's put the chest there for stuff. Now let's put the hoppers here. Like this, so that stuff is collected there. And then we'll put some campfire so that uh, the, uh, the guys that drop down will get, um, you know, fried to crisp and then when the gunpowder drops it will be picked up by these things the hoppers and put in there i think or at least that's the idea so let's put this over here and also there i think do i need here something probably not Actually, I need to block it, but we will block it just with uh, and just with a slab. Because if I put a solid block here, I cannot open the chest, right? So let's put a slab like this. And I think they can't come to me. They can still drop down, although this is not great. I don't know. Probably should... Uh, block that off huh yeah we'll need to we'll need to make this somehow a too wide thingy or I can just leave this hopefully they will not not be stuck there too much okay so what else do we have uh, we have a lot of uh, trapdoors remaining we have a lot of these things okay Number four, let's take us with you. And now we need to go out. I'm not exactly sure where do we want to go out. Um, we can leave the torches here, right? There is no need. Yeah, we can leave the torches and we should actually. We should leave the torch at least here, if nothing else. And then we can make sort of a stairway for us one two three one two 
Three there, 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 and I think we are out already. Okay, is it night? Oh, where are we? Wow. Okay, that's uh, pretty convenient. Let's make it day again. Just in case. Look how much uh, the bamboo has grown. Crazy. Okay. We'll be harvesting it soon. Don't worry. So, this is the place. I see. I see. Let's uh, mark it a little bit with... Uh, like entrance like this. And this is where we go to our creeper farm, right. Okay, and then I need to go back and continue working on it. Let's uh, take a few things out from here. And whoops, okay, so those guys will be dropping here and they will be taken by the water very slowly. Go here and basically fry themselves over here unless they get stuck there which I would not want them to do if I put uh, something like um, um, what can I put there I'm not sure let me try to go through here if I can Bam, okay, I can. <laughs> Good. That was fun. And we need to, whoops, we need to do it uh, something like, hmm. This needs to be completely dark. So over here. Hmm. I don't know how far did I put the... Uh, those other things. Oops, what did I... Ah, what am I doing? No. Bad. Pressing wrong numbers. Alright, let's, let's do it here. And take all the remaining uh, trapdoors. And put them in there. Number five. And now shift click, right? Yeah, this takes a moment, hopefully not too much. Okay, also on this side. And on the other side, everywhere. Okay, that's from one side, and then maybe I can just go up and see if we did it correctly, yeah. This is how it should look like, I think, right? Maybe we can even easier do it from here. Yeah, this is likely easier. <laughs> okay, put it uh, carefully everywhere. Oops, that's my bad. There, there. Takes a little bit of skill. Just a little bit. Okay, and now everything is covered, nice. This one is not necessary and on top of that we can put uh, now the slabs. The slabs will basically make uh, uh, this thing uh, uh, spawn proof and dark which is even more relevant and important 
So I guess you can put it over here as well. Not sure if it's absolutely necessary, but I'll just put it uh, everywhere so that it's nice. Important thing is that you put it over here on these trapdoors, right? To block all the light. Okay, next. <laughs> It will, uh, it will take a lot of slabs, be prepared. Like at least like three stacks or so. And with these shulker boxes I can actually prepare a lot of uh, stuff for the builds up front. It did take me some, some time to prepare this. And uh, we saved a lot of time on camera. So I may be doing that like for other villagers' houses, for example, that I put together all the stuff I need and things like that uh, into a shulker chest that I can easily carry around with me. And you don't have to watch me spend 20 minutes doing that, right? I'm sure you want to <laughs> watch me just place the blocks instead of other things, right? Placing the blocks is nice and relaxing. Okay, there should be slowly very dark in there. Probably I, I should put some torches inside before we decide to activate this thing so on one side maybe there and in here and uh, from the other side as well so I don't know here and here that should kind of work. Um, and let me continue. Oh. Alright, so over here we have everything. Then a little bit more. Still there. And now it's fully, fully enclosed. Okay. That's cool. Then uh, we need to also build um, a platform high above in the skies uh, so that um, we can AFK there, stay away from the keyboard like for 10 minutes and uh, let uh, the farm run. Now we need to do it up high so that there are no spawns in the caverns or caves below us. Uh, so the limit uh, where they despawn immediately is I think 128 blocks. So if we do it like 120 blocks above this thing, we should be fine. For that we will need a lot of scaffolding. So let's do like 120, right? So 60 and 60 is 120, right? I think. And then we'll need uh, maybe some glass, maybe some other building blocks. The andesite, yeah, let's, let's continue using andesite as well. And maybe some torches for us. Maybe even some andesite blocks like this. Okay, now number five. Let's find the middle, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen. Okay, so thirteen is six plus six plus one, so this is four, five, six, seven, here, right? And uh, the scaffolding is so nice that you can just, uh, you know, place uh, stuff on the bottom one and it grows uh, without problems. 
So I just uh, keep putting it here. That's 60 blocks and another 60 blocks right there. By the way, where are we? 71 plus 120 will be 191 or something like that. And then you can go up the scaffolding uh, easily. Uh, how, how do you do this the easiest way? Yeah, with... Uh, with... Uh, what should I call it with space bar and then down with uh, with shift? Yes, same way as as you basically swim. Okay, so that's cool. Actually, I again didn't bring uh, a bed, but let me correct my mistake. Finally. We need our own bed here. All right. So do I want to do this uh, right now? I think I kind of do. I think I kind of do. So let's go up there and build a little AFK place where I won't be attacked by anything. So can I turn my mouse? Yes, I can turn my mouse. So doing this is pretty easy and very, very helpful. I will need a lot more of these uh, scaffolding thingies. Super useful, super, super useful. As you can see, <laughs> I don't have to jump like we did when we fought the Ender Dragon, for example, and things like that. Okay, now we are really high up. There are some frozen mountains, maybe some frozen hills. I should go there. Maybe these are also some things we haven't. Oh, yeah, we would have explored them at least once. So they will be included. But I need to check them off the list anyway. Are we still going up? Okay, now we are at the edge, I think. Yeah, 191. And then we need to go like... Whoa, not like that. And then we need to go this way, like, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This will be about, about, I don't know, the center. So let's build a three by three. Thingy, maybe four by four. I don't know. No, I, I don't need a four by four, but I do want. Uh, I, I do want some glass, right? So number five, glass over here, and maybe also here. Okay, the rest doesn't need to be glass. Like this, then the slabs. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. Yeah, okay, so here we can stay forever. And here I will need to build also something so that we don't fall down unexpectedly or something. How do I do that? Um, just using more on the side, I would say, or more glass, more glass would be better. Let's do both and the side and glass. So here. And 
here. And this is where we drop down. And then more. Even more. Did I just run out of blocks? OMG. <laughs> I just ran out of blocks. Okay. Maybe we can like use the slabs and double build with them. Is that a thing? Yeah, it is. Okay. Don't know if this creates real blocks or not. But we can totally use it. And then here we'll need to drop down. So here I can put some glass maybe. Like that. Bam, bam. Okay, now we'll not fall down. That's cool. That's cool. Let's put also some torches right here and right there. You can put a torch on a piece of glass. I didn't know that either. <laughs> okay. And then break that down. Okay, not sure if that was the best thing to do. Hmm. That probably wasn't the best thing to do. But I'll use more glass and try to block it if I can. Yes, yeah, so how? Here, here. Uh, here, here, and here. Right? And this way we are fine, I think. Not absolutely sure. Not absolutely sure. Yeah, I think we are fine. All right, then uh, what do we have there? We have these uh, half blocks as well. Let's continue using them. We have 50 of them. So uh, Yeah, I don't know if I need to do this. But uh, while I'm here, we might as well do it. So that I like it. Okay, so here's the drop down. I mean, here's the ladder, or what you might call it. And here's the here's basically the center where we should AFK. More or less. Okay, let's go down. Hmm, probably I'm tempted to just uh, drop down, but uh, there is no water nearby. I should put a small lake over there so that I don't have to do it too many times. Although, like I will spend half an hour, you know, just let the computer run. Get as much gunpowder as we need. And after that, I will never need it again. Yeah, I think that's fine. So. Uh, this will compress nicely on YouTube, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, then uh, this is not necessary anymore either. Number three, there, there, there. Okay, and then, yeah, it goes up a long way, a long way. We need to figure out whether it's... Um, whether it's dark enough over there. Also, I should probably put a couple of torches around here. So number five, let's say a torch here, here, here. And here should be enough, I hope. And then these torches can go down, right? And after that, no, we still need, uh, we, oh, we have very important ingredients that we have forgotten. 
very important ingredient. Let's let's take all of this by the way as well. How much time do we have? 50 minutes? No, I will do it off camera. That will only take uh, precious time. So uh, we need uh, two leads. And we need to take the two unnamed cats. So you and you, right? And both of you uh, Okay, you stay here and like this. Can you go with me now? I sure hope so. Where is the sun? Sun is going down. Uh, so probably I should sleep first. Okay, Amber Gaze, Loki, Bella, Honey, and Ebony. Okay, we have all the named cats with us. That's a good question. Do I need to name these cats as well? They will not despawn even if they are named, right? If, if they are not named. I'm not sure, but let's sleep together with them <laughs> for the last time before they go. Oh, hello. You brought me a raw chicken. Thank you very much. Yeah, if you if you if you sleep with uh, cats, they they can bring you stuff the next day. Like a lot of different stuff. And why are you not on a lead? Dude. Oh, because you probably brought me some stuff, that's why. Did I did I lose you? No. Come with me. You both, okay? I have a very, very important job for you. Still with me, yes. Okay. Still with me, yes. Let's go up a little bit. And around. Still with me, thank you, thank you. That's how we like it. Still with me, okay. So... What? Yes, stop both of you. And I will need to put, let's say, the daughter of amber gaze over here on this spot enjoy it over there and then here you will be coming with us the other way around okay and you need to be on the other side creeping the creepers here yes exactly and now sit down and you can be here daughter of honey right there okay and now we start removing the light sources um, interesting why is it so? Well, from the other ones, I guess. Okay, we have andesite, not that much. I need more andesite. Why is the game lagging so much? I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Do we have more andesite? Wow, we are absolutely fresh out of andesite. Okay. We do have a few in the chest. See, even if I prepared myself, I'm still short on resources, <laughs> but it's uh, it's not a biggie. We do have, do have more on the side, right there. Okay, we used all of it basically. Okay. 
Okay, then... Yes, here, so... And the side, number five. That way. That way. Okay, it's pretty dark over here already. And if we... If we block it off and then from the other side, have a quick look. It will be probably very dark over there. Yeah, it's it's super dark over there. You need to be... Maybe a little bit, no. Is nothing spawning here? Not yet. Okay, some lags for some reason. We can also do tinted glass. Oh, maybe maybe the lags are because of all these uh, sheep, actually. Yeah, there's quite a lot of sheep here. <laughs> um, should have probably done it a bit uh, further away from... What was that? It was again a very long lag. But I think uh, I think I know what it might be. Maybe the game has some kind of autosave interval, like after one hour, like here, where it saves all the data into the disk files. And you know, my, my world is uh, by now one gigabyte or something like that. So yeah, if you have files like that it takes a long time even on solid state disks anyway <laughs> enough fun uh, with these guys I just wanted to get a little bit more of uh, wool because that's also something we need that oak fence I'm not sure if I want it mm. we'll see okay so this thing oh, another lag wow why why, why, why? It looks okay-ish. Looks okay-ish. We don't know if it works, but we can uh, use the entrance over here to find out if anything's happening. Well, we have some dirt in here. That's, that's cool. But nothing else. I wonder if I should get rid of that, of that thing over there. I mean, it's pretty dark, isn't it? This will make it even darker. I could put uh, a fence there, but it doesn't look like anybody wants to drop here. These things are... Oh, because... Because it's not absolutely dark. Where is this light coming from? What? Oh. You think that uh, andesite slabs don't work? Or is just my gamma too high? How do I find out? Um. Client light zero. Maybe I should turn the gamma down, but this is much more light than here. So, for example, this one, block zero, block zero, I don't know. Hard to say if there's, if there's just uh, too many mobs around or if this is really not uh, not working. The, there is a full full coverage of slabs hmm and it's not spawning anything I mean yeah <laughs> that's that's not good not good let me let me try how how dark is full darkness right so let's Break this. 
Break that. And let's just uh, use a couple of blocks like this. So full darkness is about this much. Is that full darkness though? Look. I don't know. In any case, I will need to test it, but we have just reached the end of the episode. So maybe I will test it uh, off camera and and see see what we get. So if I get rid of this, oh we have oh these things produce light, of course. I don't need torches over here at all. So yeah, it doesn't spawn anything right now, but that's probably because the mob limit is already reached. Um, and then I can go up. All the mobs in the caverns will despawn and we'll see what happens next. That's the plan at least. And that's the plan at least. Uh, you come with me as well, like that. I will go there later. Yes, I will go there later. And let's just take all of these with us before the sun goes down. Um. <laughs> There's something oddly satisfying about it. Okay, <laughs> still dropping down. I wonder how many we have. Definitely like five or six stacks, I would say. And it's, go it's going to be dark. It's going to be very dark. Let's finish picking them up quickly, quickly. Okay, and go sleep. Okay, have we forgotten anything over here? Doesn't look like it. No, doesn't look like it. So, your guess? My guess is six and a half stacks. One, two, three, four, five, five and a half stacks. Okay, one stack off. Anyway, good haul. There was one. And. Uh, I'll test uh, this thing that should in theory work very nicely off camera and maybe do some adjustments to it if necessary. Um, and when we come back we'll have we'll have Elytra that is now fully enchanted right there. And we have the maps and everything else prepared already. So yeah, we will be we will be going for adventures in the next episode, I think. There's nothing stopping us from doing that. Right, kitties? Right. So, for now, I thank you very much for watching. Till next time. Bye-bye. And we're back. So, there were some problems. Uh, one problem was that when I had this uh, three by two hole. I decided to go and dig the side that was three wide instead of two wide. That's why I got uh, a little bit confused. I uh, turned 90 degrees and uh, dug on the shorter side. So this is how it looks like. There is no pillar over there and the creepers have nowhere to get stuck. So that's uh, pretty cool. Otherwise on this side, everything is the same. And I have been uh, in the sky for five minutes and we got uh, a stack and five pieces of gunpowder. So that's pretty cool for five minutes. 
let me show you what else I have done. So if we go up here, you can see that we are not anymore over there, but uh, so we didn't go like this and that, but we went like there and here, basically 90 degrees or something like that. Also, I need to sleep, I believe. Let's do that. Okay, so that everybody outside is fine. I don't know what do we do here, actually. I don't want anybody to go there, so let me... Let me just block it like this. I don't know why there was a lag again. Probably that guy who just woke up lagged. Okay. Uh, creeper hurts and crackles. See? Creepers are dying there even now. Anyway... Uh, what did I want to do? I wanted to go here and show you that I have also put a lot of torches around so that uh, enemies don't spawn very nearby this structure. And that was necessary because uh, I needed to go up in the sky and make our AFK post uh, about, I think, 12 or 13 blocks uh, lower. 120 was too much, and that's because 128 is the limit. From the center we are fine, we just uh, reached 128 blocks, but uh, then you still need to go 3 down, and then 16 to the side where they are burnt, so at least 10 more blocks would be nice. Otherwise, they will just despawn immediately, shortly before they reach uh, your campfires. Which is definitely not what we want. So I changed this a little bit as well. Uh, let's see, when do we get there? It takes a lot of time. Wow. Ah, there we go. I also needed more anthesites, so I uh, made this practically completely from... Uh, glass as you can see so that I have more anthesite for the structure down here so this goes down about 12 blocks or 13 maybe and this is where I need to stand so that uh, the creepers don't despawn after they spawn and then get uh, you know flushed into the canal uh, and also um, if there were any spawns nearby uh, our structure, on the ground basically, uh, that would uh, decrease the productivity a lot. So the torches all around it uh, were the second thing I needed to do. So yeah, I think that's it. Two important things, don't go 120 blocks up if you do this yourself, go like hundred and six hundred and seven blocks up not more and uh, put some torches around your structure let's say 20 30 40 blocks around it should be completely uh, lit up also if there is any cave very very near your uh, structure it should be lit up as well, but I don't think there is any cave near mine. I haven't heard any noises over there. Okay, so how much time do you think uh, uh, we can give it? I can stay here for another five minutes. Yeah, let me pause the recording and after five minutes I'll return again. And we're back. It has been about five minutes, so let's go up here just a couple blocks All right then go back and let's go down okay this will again take some time sorry about that <laughs> almost there almost there Uh, 
and this whole time it was day, no night. So I'm also curious how much will we actually get. Okay, here we go. And we need to go through here again. Hello there. Go inside. Nobody burning anymore. But we have, oh yeah, a stack and a half in, I don't know, five or six minutes. So, perfect. It does work. It works beautifully. <laughs> Let's block it. Like this. Go back home. What's this? Wow. One, two, three. All of you. Crazy. <laughs> nope. You don't get to go there. We just go nicely back home. And stay there. Just like this. Okay. See you next time. Bye bye.